Hi guys, welcome back to Grace Gutty Pilates. I'm going to take you through a reformer session today. You obviously need a reformer and some dumbbells. I've got one kilo, you can have two, three, whichever you would like. So we're going to start standing and I actually want you to take off all the springs on your reformers because the carriage is going to come all the way back. You're then going to place your foot in a step inside the well. Stand with your feet hip width distance apart. Arms are down by your side, shoulders are relaxed. Inhale, take a deep belly breath. Expand your ribcage out wide. As you exhale, I want you to start to nod your chin to your chest. You're going to roll yourself down one vertebrae at a time, reaching your knuckles down towards the floor. Keep your hips stacked over your ankles, and if you're tight through your hamstrings, have a soft bend through your knees. Inhale down here. And as you exhale, I want you to start to draw up through the lower abdominals. You're going to re-stack up nice and tall, one vertebrae at a time. The last thing to lift is your gaze. We're going to go again. Inhale, take a deep belly breath. Exhale, to into your chest. Hips are stacked over your ankles. Arms are nice and long. You're relaxing through the back of your head. Soft bend through your knees if you're tight through your hamstrings. Inhale down here. Exhale. Start to curl up one vertebrae at a time. The last thing to lift is your gaze. From here, shift your left leg kind of towards the center of your body and you're going to place your right foot, you can either have the toes tucked or untucked, on the carriage. I want you to bend your left knee. The carriage swings back your right leg straight. With your arms, reach them by your side. From here, I want you to sweep your arms forward towards the foot bar. Then I want you to exhale, pinch the shoulder blades together, reach your arms behind you. Inhale, sweep the arms forward. Exhale, drawing the arms back. So you should have the weight through your left leg. You want your knee in line with your second toes your right leg straight, and so are your arms. Your ribs are drawing down, belly button's drawing towards your spine. We're gonna to start to work into our left glute. Exhale, inhale, sweep the arms forward. We've got five. Exhale, draw back for four. We've got three, final two, can you sink a little bit deeper into the left leg? On your next one, keep the arms reaching back behind you. With your right leg, you're going to bend it, and as you bend your right knee to draw the carriage in, can you add in a little tricep press? So we're bending, it's like a scooter, and then extending through the arms and the left right leg. Your breath. Inhaling. Exhale, reaching long. Keep your hips tracking forward. Elbows are tucked in close by your rib cage. We've got five. You should really be feeling that left glute. And for four, your gaze is about a meter in front. We've got three. Final two. On your last one, keep the right leg long, keep the arms reaching out long behind me. Behind you, sorry, little tiny pulses up and down through the left leg. We've got ten for nine, eight, seven, six, five. Keep reaching arms back for four, three, two, last one. Draw yourself all the way up. Whew. You can shake out the left leg. You can really feel that left glute working. And my heart rate's up as well. Let's walk to the other side. So bring your right foot into the center. Your left foot's coming on top of the carriage. Let's bend your right knee. Lean the upper body forward. Make sure your weight's in your right heel. So you're connecting straight to your glute. With your arms, we're sweeping, sweeping them forward towards the bar. And then exhale, pinching the shoulder blades together. Inhale, sweeping them forward. Exhale, drawing back. Using your breath. Inhale. 
exhale, reaching back. Belly buttons drawing to your spine. Gaze is a meter in front. We're working into our postural muscles. We're working into our balance and stability on the right leg. Waking up through the glute. Let's go for four more. Before we add in our scooters. Last three. Nice and controlled. Two more. Last one, keep the arms reaching back behind us. Bend the left knee, bend the elbows. Extend the left leg, extend the arms. Inhaling, exhale, reaching long. Belly buttons drawing to your spine. Shoulders are relaxed. Elbows in close by your waist. Inhale, exhale, pressing away. We've got five. And four. Two more. Last one. Keep the left leg reaching long. Keep the arms reaching long. Little pulses through the right leg for ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Keep it in the arms for five, four, three, two. Last one. Standing up nice and tall. Place the left foot down. Give your legs a little shake out. Well done. You can step out of there now. Let's place the weight down to the side. And we're going to add on one red spring. You can place your hands around the footbar. Your feet are coming up against the shoulder rest. And with your hips, I would like you to send them forward. So you've got a nice long line from the crown of your head through to your knees. Keeping your arms straight and drawing your belly button to your spine. Inhale, take a deep belly breath. As you exhale, let's press away from the foot bar. The further that you press away, the more intense it's going to be. Inhale, draw yourself back up. Exhale, pressing away. Inhaling, drawing all the way back up. Using your breath. Arms are straight, your shoulders are down. A slight squeeze through your glutes. And keeping that long line from the crown of your head through to your knees. We've got four more. Try and stretch that spring as much as you can. For three. Inhale, drawing up. Exhale, pressing away for two. On this next one, I want you to hold it down here. Good, from here, you're gonna bend your elbows. Draw your chest over the foot bar. Once it's over the foot bar, I want you to press into both hands, draw yourself up like a push up. So you're pressing away, bending the elbows, draw the chest over the foot bar, exhale, press up. Let's go for four more in this direction. Exhale, press into up. We've got three. Two more. Last one in this direction. Pressing away, bend the elbows, draw the chest over the foot bar, press up all the way. Now we're going to reverse it. So draw your chest over the foot bar, hold, press away. With straight arms, draw yourself back up. And again, bend the elbows, chest comes over the foot bar, extend the arms long, draw yourself up. Making sure you've still got that long line from the crown of your head through to your knees. Let's go for four. Bend, extend, draw up. And for three. Two more. Last one, bend, extend, straight arms, draw yourself up, relax the feet, sink back onto your heels for a child's pose position, reach your arms out nice and long. Keep your left hand on the left side of the reformer, just place your right hand on the top, 
you can pull into your right side. So you get a nice stretch. Then from here, place your right hand on the right side, place your left hand on top, pull into the left side. Come back through center. We're gonna add on a red and a blue spring, so that way you have two reds and one blue. So two and a half springs. Grab hold of your weights again. We're gonna line to our back, ready for some footwork. So from here, place both heels onto the foot bar. With your arms, you wanna reach them out nice and long. Just allow the elbows to relax down onto the back of the carriage. You've got a little gap between the small of your back and the carriage. Let's inhale, take a deep belly breath. As you exhale, start to imprint the small of your back into the carriage. Peel your tailbone off. Lift your hips up to the ceiling. Inhale here and as you exhale, I want you to draw your belly much to your spine. You're going to roll yourself down one vertebrae at a time. And the last thing to release is your tailbone. Inhale, take a deep belly breath. Exhale. Start to imprint the small of your back into the carriage. Peel the tailbone off. Make sure that your knees are a fist width distance apart. Inhale up here. Exhale, draw your belly button to your spine. Roll yourself down one vertebrae at a time. If you would like, on this next one, as you imprint, you can start to bend at the elbows. And as you peel your tailbone off, reach your arms up to the ceiling. Inhale here. Exhale, roll yourself down, draw the elbows in close by your waist. And again, exhale, imprinting. Press evenly through both heels, reach the hips up to the ceiling, reach the arms up to the ceiling, and then lower yourself down. Nice work. Let's go for two more. Think about drawing your bottom towards your heels. One more. Exhaling, imprinting, lifting the hips up. Keep the arms reaching up to the ceiling, keep the hips high. Inhale here. As you exhale, press through both heels, reach the arms, reach the legs out long this time, sorry. And then bend your knees, draw the carriage all the way in. Exhale, pressing away, keep the hips high. Inhale to draw back in. We've got four more. Slight squeeze through the glutes for three. I can feel my leg is shaking from the start. We've got two. Last one, pressing away. Draw the carriage in. Roll yourself down one vertebrae at a time. You can bring the hands by your side, flip the palms up towards the ceiling, and then allow the elbows to hover off just a centimeter or two. Let's float your right leg into tabletop. Your right shin is parallel to the ceiling. Inhale, take a deep belly breath. As you exhale, Press up through the left heel, lengthen your left leg, add in a bicep, curl the arms. Inhale, bend the left knee, release the arms. Exhale, let's repeat. So it's a little bit of footwork, just single leg footwork, and then adding in a bicep, curl with the arms. Using your breath, exhaling, inhale to release. We've got six. Exhale, press away for five. Four, three more, exhale, press away for two, last one, you're going to come down halfway, with the arms and legs, I want you to pulse them at the same time, little tiny pulses, we've got ten, and nine, start to make them a little bit bigger for eight, slide up and down the railing for seven, six, five, Four, exhale, three, two, make them bigger, last one, press out all the way. Let's place your right heel onto the foot bar, float the left leg into tabletop, bend your right knee, release the arms, exhale, extend the right leg, bicep curl the arms. Inhaling, exhaling, extending. Inhale, exhale, reaching long. Keeping that neutral spine, We've got six to go. And for five. Four more. For three. 
two, final one, coming down halfway. Again, we've got our pulses, so we're pulsing through the leg as well as pulsing through the arms. We've got 10 for nine, start to make them a little bigger for eight, seven, keep sliding up and down the railings for six, five, four, continue to make them bigger for three, two, the last one, press out all the way, bend your right knee, draw the carriage in. I want you to curl yourself up, just pop the weights off to one side, and then I want you to shuffle yourself down so that your shoulders are away from your shoulder rest. Let's interlace your fingertips together. Hands are coming behind the head. Thumbs are tracking down your neck. Elbows are out wide. Your heels are just on the foot bar. Inhale, take a deep belly breath. As you exhale, I want you to curl yourself up through the head, neck and shoulders. Draw your gaze to where the ceiling meets the wall. And then inhale, lower yourself down. Exhaling, scooping, lifting. Belly buttons drawing to your spine. Inhale to release. Just a simple little chest lift here. Drawing your lowest ribs down to meet your hip bones as you curl yourself up. If you're feeling cramped in this position, you can always relax the legs on top of the foot bar. It is just allowing you to open up through the lower half of the body. Exhaling, scooping, lifting. Inhale to lower. Try and keep your neutral spine and try not to let the hip flexors grab as you curl up. So really concentrate on drawing the lowest ribs down to meet the hip bones, peeling the head, neck and shoulders off of the carriage as much as you can without pulling on your neck. Exhaling and then inhale. We've got four more. And for three. Exhale, lift for two. Last one. On the next one. As you curl up, I want you to draw your left armpit over to your right knee. So you're going to float your right leg into tabletop. Rotate your left armpit over to the right knee. Inhale, lower the upper body down. Keep the right leg in the tabletop. Exhale, lift and rotate. Inhale to lower. Try and draw that armpit over towards the knee. We've got six. Keep the head heavy in the hands. For five. Exhale, lift, rotate for four. Try and keep both sit bones heavy for three so the hips aren't peeling off. Two more. On this next one, lift and hold that rotation. Reach your left arm to the outside of your right leg. Little tiny pulses up and down. We've got 10 for nine and eight. Keep the head heavy for seven. Exhale, lift for six. Five, you should be feeling your obliques for four. Three, two, last one. Place the left hand behind the head. Lower the right leg down, come back through center. Straight away, let's lift the left leg into tabletop, draw the right armpit over to the left knee. Lower the upper body down. Exhale, lift and rotate. Inhale to lower. Keep both sit bones heavy. We've got six. Exhale, lift up. Five, rotate across. We've got four. Belly buttons drawing to your spine, last three. Two more. Last one. Hold. Reach your right arm long. Little pulses. Right arm. Pick to the left knee for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Feeling those obliques kicking in for five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Place the right hand behind the head. Lower the left leg. Lower the upper body down. Well done. You can place your feet wide onto the foot bar. Grab hold of your shoulder rest. You're going to drop your knees off to the side and whichever side you're dropping the knees, you can look in the opposite direction. Then come back through centre and then rotate. And again, just changing, getting that rotation through the spine. Nice work. One more either side. Last one. And come back through centre. You're going to curl yourself up. 
We're going to finish with a mermaid. So let's take off the red and the blue, so you're left with just one red string. And I want you to come into a Z sit position. Place your left hand in the middle of the foot bar, your left arm straight and the left shoulders down. Right arm straight as well. As you exhale, you're going to press out with a straight left arm, reach up and over with your right arm. Inhale, come back through centre. Exhale, pressing away. Inhaling, coming back. And again, feeling the lats start to engage, working through the arm. Give me nice lateral flexion. From here, you're going to press away from the foot bar. Bring your right hand onto the foot bar, rotate your shoulders around, widen your grip. Press out even further. With two straight arms, you're going to inhale, lift up through the crown of your head. Try and draw the carriage all the way in without the shoulders creeping up or the elbows bending. So we want to keep them straight and then press away. Inhale and lifting, get that nice deep stretch through the front of the body, get that rotation through the back. Exhale, pressing away. And we've got two more. On this next one, inhale, lift up. You're going to park the carriage. Place your right hand onto your shoulder rest. With your left arm, you're reaching up and over so you get your counter stretch. And then you can come back through centre. We're going to swap around to the other side. So make sure your right chin is in front, your right arm straight. Both shoulders are down, but exhale, pressing away. And then inhale, coming back. Exhale, press away. Nice straight arms. And then inhale, coming back through centre. Next time that you press away, let's bring your left hand onto the foot bar this time. Rotate the shoulders around, widen your grip. Press out even further. As you inhale, lift up through the crown of your head. Try and draw that carriage in. Exhale to press away. Inhaling, lifting. Exhale, press away. Two more. Shoulders are down, arms are straight. Last one, you're going to inhale, lift up all the way. Let's park the carriage, place your left hand onto your shoulder rest, bridge up and over with your right arm, get that stretch through the side of the body. And then come back through centre. You guys are all finished for today, thank you so much for joining and I hope to see you again next time. Bye guys.